It's you, standing here, next to me. Oh, hang on a minute, there's no one here after all. Hello, welcome back to the Avengers of Martinez, last name, who is uh, somewhat disappointed in the feedback he has received into his into his gallery letterbox. Uh, the, the, the curator of the gallery has forwarded on the letters to Martinez, and he's been thumbing through them uh, here in Windhelm before we, you know, just kind of tidy up business here. Uh, a lot of people very disappointed by Martinez's uh, performance yesterday, particularly with regards to, quote-unquote, innocent people dying. And uh, Martinez prepared a couple of counterpoints to that. Firstly, I mean, yeah, that. That's pretty much the ace in the hole, uh, to be honest with you. Um, more importantly... A lot of people were saying that, you know, an innocent woman died and we could have apprehended Calixto uh, in, in, you know, an alternate manner and not got the guy put in prison or whatever. You need to understand this. Random people dying are not Martin. That's not Martinez's prerogative here. He needed cold, hard evidence. And there is no colder, harder evidence than a body dead left in the snow. I mean, literally. So, you know, he wanted to make sure that, that things were things were adequate. Anyway, we're going to go back to, uh, we're going to go back here to uh, Calixto's Curiosities, because I'm sure there are one or two things we might want to, uh, might want to gather here. Just see if he had anything else lying around. I'll certainly take all of your, um, I'll certainly take all of your, uh, gems, if that's okay, my friend. I'm looking to make a few million gold here. East Grimoire's Super Spoon. Uh, it's a fork. We are going to take that. I think the implication is, uh, East Grimoire didn't exactly eat. Oh, that's useful. Didn't exactly eat, uh, eat soup. Or at least that's, uh. <laughs> That's the only thing I can assume from that. We'll take anything of value. Um, and there's also a chest up here, isn't there? Calixto's chest. Of which we now have... Oh. A bunch of necromancy-related crap. Uh, we have the Butcher's Journal Part 3. Linen wraps, scalpels, shears, and a steel dagger. Perhaps even the murder weapon. Is there anything up there? We'd have to do a, a bit, of, bit of fancy flying here to get it. All right, never mind. Thought I'd double check, but there are no other relics in Callisto's House of Curiosities, according to our Locate Relic Power. So that's that thing room for another five or so episodes. A lot of people still complain about Miuri's quest. Hey, uh, I need you to understand, we did Miuri's quest as part of a mod... Uh, the person we had to kill for Miuri, we had to kill as part of a mod quest in February. Now, I don't care if you're fucking disappointed with the results of Miuri's quest. I'm not reloading back to February. That's ridiculous. This is, a, this is almost a hundred part let's play. We do one a day. That's like three months worth of content. You want me to yeet so we can get, what, 2,000 gold? I'm all right. I think I'm fine. Thank you. Oh, you know what? We can't go back to the Dragonborn Gallery yet, can we? Because we have another target minimum to kill for Nazir. We do have to go and become Thane of... Uh... Thane of Windhelm, we do have to go by Hjerim, the, uh, the the place that, you know, the Butcher was doing his necromantic ritual. Oh, do you want me to read the journal as well? I think I vaguely remember he was trying to resurrect his sister, wasn't he, as part of the, uh, that was, that was kind of his motivation, but we'll kind of thumb through it quickly here as well. Soon enough, my sweet Lucilla, you'll be with me again. Normally when such words are written, it's because the love left behind too soon to depart, but in my case, I hope to bring your spirit back into the world, for it was you who loved this world so much, not I. I continue to collect your new form from the ragged bits around Windhelm. If only they knew what destiny would soon grace their bodies with your spirit, imbuing them with higher purpose. They would sure thank me for the great gift I give them. I reserve for them a place of beauty amongst your heart. Alongside your heart. The day draws near. Soon I will hold you. I will show you this in an... And it will be as delivering a long forgot letter to a weary traveller. Love always, Calixto. They might assume he's talking about his wife, you know, Maximilian Pegasus style, trying to bring her back through the medium of card games, or in this case, cold hard murder. Uh, turns out, no, it's his sister. Maybe he's a little bit more weird than we anticipated. So now we have to go kill Hearn. Apologize if I keep stopping and starting here. I can't stop coughing. Uh, I must travel to Half Moon Mill, which sits on the southwestern shore of Lake Illinalta. Call the vampire Hearn. It was Hearn and Hertz, right? I may use any means at my disposal when I'm done to report back to Nazir at the sanctuary and collect my rewards. We've got to kill Hearn. Hearn, where are you, my friend? People say maybe throw a night iron charm on him. To be honest, it's not a bad idea. Or a life detect, actually. That wouldn't be a bad idea at some stage. Um, like I said, last time I used the journal to try and find a map marker. Didn't actually work. Uh, we'll try it, though. Oh, it's working now. Hey, that's good. Okay, let's go over to the Half Moon Mill, then, and see what we're up against. A vampire. Like I said, if we are infected with... Um, if you are inf infected with uh, vampirism, I wouldn't be against upgrading to full-blown Vampire Lord at this stage because we do have to level up Vampire Lord uh, fully to uh, get the display in the museum. To 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 get all the perks in that one is to uh, is to tick off another thing from our list, basically. So it might be a nice coincidence. I'll knock at the horrible vampire's door. 
Is someone there? Hello, may I come in? Nah, I don't think so. Oh. Uh, please, it's urgent. Okay, just this once. <laughs> you fool. Is that hurt then that just answered the door for us? I trust us? you're not planning any trouble. What can I do for you, friend? Hello, hurt. Here for work? Get an axe and bring me all the wood you can chop. Your mill seems well guarded. The patrols never seem to give us time to be alone. These guards are such a bore. They're just regular old vampires? Just I'd better get going. Living their lives as just like as lumber lumberjacks? Lumber lumber people? They're eating they're eating regular meat and not humans and Well now. Hello, huh? What have we here? A last little lamb. Just thought I'd come and see uh Oh, Assassin vs. Vampire Fight for the Ages. I know what you are, Nightspawn. Well then, you won't be leaving here alive. Oh, we didn't have to end it like that. We could have just been friends, but if you're going to be a Someone bitch about there. it, then um, I am going to just shoot you with this arrow. And then you're going to get shot by this one. Well, that was a bit disappointing. I was hoping there'd be some sort of alternate route there. That was... <laughs> well, that was frighteningly easy. Okay, never mind, I suppose. Wow, that was um, it's kind of tragic, eh? Skull of Hearn. And do we not need to take her as well? He did say that the, the, the target was Hearn. He did just say we'd have to contend with her if we uh, if we wanted to hunt him down. Well, that was very lackluster. I was thinking there might be some, some dialogue to be glimmed from that rather than just, you're a vampire, I'm here to kill you. Never mind. He's going to speak to Nazir, see if he's got anything important for us. See if uh, Astrid has changed her mind about Cicero as well. Whoa. Hello? Bees? <laughs> That's a mod we need for Skyrim. Actually being attacked by a swarm of bees. Astrid. Hello. We need to talk. Oh, that's funny. I was just going to see you anyway. Uh, has the time come? Will I now serve the Night Mother? No, we'll just say, we'll, we'll, let's be a bit more sensible about things, a bit more measured. Of course, Astrid, what is it? Look. Something is happening here. What's going on with her foot? I'm not sure entirely what that's. He's obviously got a is, uh but, well, we need to find out. She's got a bit of a jam in if her the head. The night mother really did give you an order to talk to a contact. We'd be mad to ignore it. We would be mad to ignore and it. And I think we'd both agree. Cicero's brought quite enough madness to <laughs> what this. What is going on with her foot? <laughs> so go. Go to Volenrude. It's a crypt, pretty far to the northeast. Talk to this Armand Motier. And let's see where all this leads. Hmm? Okay then. Armand Motier. Silence has been broken. Right, let's go and have a chat with... Put my lantern on here. You people need some extra lights, Vinny. This place is so bloody dark. I suppose it's not called the fucking hell. Arnbjorn, watch that. It's not called the Light hey, Brotherhood, is it? I've been part of the Dark Brotherhood from the day I first hatched. I am Shadow Scale, you see. Uh -huh. Born under the sign of the Shadow. Yeah, cool. <laughs> Thanks for telling me. Uh, where is... Where is Nazir? Hello, Nazir. You're alive. Then I guess you haven't paid a visit to the vampire yet, huh? Oh, yeah. How about this? Hearn is dead. No sarcasm this time. You faced a vampire... Oh, we leveled up. ...and lived to tell the tale. Well done. Thank you, and Nazir. And if you contracted Sanguinari Vampiris, be sure to get that taken care of. Well, she'll end up like our own Babette. Sanguinare Vampiris. Unless, of course, that was your goal all along. Here's your payment. Thank you. Uh, Lubbock is dead as well. Wonderful. The only good bard is a dead one as far as I'm concerned. That's very, all that very rude. Singing and Hang on. Mirth. You're paid, <laughs> as per the usual. We got paid as much for killing two vampires as we did for taking out a bard. I mean, to be argu arguably, the bard was harder. Um... Sure, thank you. Any other more contracts available? Well, aren't we the eager one? Sorry to disappoint. Good to say nothing. no. Try me again later. All right. Thank you, Nazir. By the way, you weren't very subtle in uh, Windhelm. I saw you cut that guy in half right there. Another innocent murder. Okay. Well, uh, you want us to go and speak to... Uh... <laughs> Fucking hell! Is this guy okay? I can see why he's training. He needs all the help he can get. Let's go and have a chat with uh, Armand Mottiere then. So in Oblivion, for those who watched the Oblivion series, uh, what was his name? Uh, Francois. Francois Mottiere was the was the guy in um, was it Coral? 
I think it was Carl anyway, um, that you have to fake his death for the Dark Brotherhood. I think the implication is that they're related. I don't know if it's ever kind of set in stone, but... Astrid is great, so let me see. I'm on Mottiere in the dungeon known as Volenrude. As commanded by the Nightmother, I'm speak with Mottiere and find out what he wants. I should head to the southern area of the Pale between Morthol and Whiterun. Morthol and Whiterun, there it is. We have not been to Volenrude before, so this will take off another, another location for the gallery as well. By the time we get back to the gallery, chances are we'll have a million gold sat in our, uh, sat in our inbox waiting for us. Hello? Uh, bandits? Uh, what is that? Just a skeleton. Fuck off, skeleton. Donk. <laughs> well, that was great. Uh, this guy's not hostile, eh? I could have sworn he was. You good? Spell looks dangerous. Oh, it's a vigilant Keep of Stendar. I, th I could have sworn he was uh, hostile there for a second. And what is this? Uh, what is this stone here? Pillar of Kingsbane. So these are pillars that I believe offer some sort of alternative shout. Uh, similar to the, uh, similar to the kind of prayers to Kine and that type of thing. Speaking of Kine, that's one of Kine's animals right there, isn't it not? Hang on. Kapow! I think I was a little bit of, uh, a little bit of an overestimation there. Come on. Okay, too high, too high, too high. This is good training. This is good training. Bear with me. That was too low. Okay, split the difference. Let's go, like, right, right there. No, really? <laughs> All right, you know what? Bang. Oh, what the hell? You can't give me a kill cam and then make me miss. That's not fair at all. Hey, stop. Stop moving. There you go. Right, we're good. Oh, that was a... <laughs> that was a little bit of a distraction, but... You know, it's all good training. It's all good training. Maybe I should go and get Zephyr. The, uh, the bow that, um... Oh, what's her name? Katya, the uh, the lady from the Ethereum Wars uses, just because these bows are so slow to draw right now. I'm sure there must be a perk that increases the uh, increases the speed. But holy crap, just trying to fire off these arrows is um so goddamn slow. We got some septums there. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. And here we are, Volenrude. Something new for the museum. I'm here for your gems as well. I assume that effect then. So, so we've completed the crown of uh, Baron Zyre, of course. And as a bonus, we get extra gems. I assume that still counts then. Because we are finding gems absolutely everywhere in the... In... Oh, is this still alive? Are you going to come to life? Not anymore, you're not. I think he was going to. I'll take these septums here. Headache's journal. Oh, silence tongues. I was skeptical, but it's obvious now. Locate the ceremonial weapons. Okay, cool. The old hymns had truth to them. Relief wasn't far from the entrance, just as they said. I've no doubt that it hides the entrance to Kevnell's tomb. Two keys must be hidden nearby. Ceremonial replicas of Okin and Aduge. Favoured weapons when Kevnell went into battle. I didn't dare explore further without having bodyguards. To think the tongue chieftain in Kevnell could be entombed behind a few feet of stone. The ancestor we scarcely believed real. Whoa, okay. Uh, sure. Hedic Volunar. Obviously didn't get very far, did he? Well, let's see what we can find down here, then. We'll take a look. We'll, we'll see if we can complete that quest. Sure, why not? Rather than just being a journey to come and meet Armand Mottiere, we'll, uh... We'll go kill some Draugr, too. Tennis his favorite thing. Although, I feel like we're at a bit more of a disadvantage these days than we were when we were using, you know, sun magic to deal with them. Ah! By the almighty divines, you've come. You've actually come. This dreadful black yeah. sacrament thing. It worked. It did work. The Night Mother heard your pleas, Mottiere. Yes, um, so it would seem. Well, I won't waste your time. <laughs> I would like to arrange a contract. Several, actually. I dare say. The work I'm offering has more significance than anything your organization has experienced in, well, centuries. I wouldn't go that far. Go on. As I said, I want you to kill several people. You'll find the targets as well as their manners of elimination quite there. Let me guess, you want Muri's lover I'm killed sure as some well. Of your disposition will probably even find it enjoyable. What do you mean my disposition? But you should know that these killings are but a means to an end. For they pave the way to the most important target. God himself. The real reason I'm speaking with a cutthroat in the bowels of this detestable crypt. For I seek the assassination of... Ulfric Stormcloak. The Emperor. <gasps> By the gods, the Emperor of Tamriel? That is correct. What I ask is no small thing, of course. 
But you represent the Dark Brotherhood. This is what you do, no? I feel like I haven't got the authority understand. to take this contract, So much but... has led to this day. So much planning and maneuvering. Now, it's as if the very stars have finally aligned. You can't tell that. We're inside. But I digress. Here, take these. They need to be delivered to your superior. Sithis himself? Rexus? The items. <laughs> Rexus? Rexus, the items. Here. Hello. Thank you, Rexus. The sealed letter will explain everything that needs to be done. The amulet is quite valuable. You can use it to pay for any and all expenses. Okay. Thank you, Armand Mottieri. I'm taking your things. Especially your... Who brings a single piece of bread? Oh, there's your uh, black sacrament. Who brings... Is there something else you need? Who brings a single piece of bread to accompany an entire wheel of blue cheese? What a strange man. I almost don't want to take his contract for crimes against sandwiches. Hello? Hello? Don't mind me. Just here to kill some Draugr. It's kind of easy experience, isn't it, in this place? Good lord. Okay. Oh, hello. The hell is he off to in a hurry? Oh, god. Okay. Well, they're quite strong. This is where some elemental effects probably wouldn't have hurt. Kapow! Oh, Jesus. That's going to take ages to kill them with range. Okay. Uh, well, bear with me on this one then. We'll see what we can do. Hello? Don't worry, Army. Don't worry, Army. Come on, take a step forward. Ah! Good lord, I was gonna hit the pressure pad. I don't know if we. Oh, it does work. Hey, step forward, step forward, step forward. Right, hold on. We can make this work. We've just gotta be sensible about things. Jesus, man. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. Oh! Well, there's one dead. Did that kill that Atronach? It did. Okay, 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 okay. Hold on. Please die. Oh god, we're only we're only level 45 archery. Please don't hurt me. Okay, nice. <laughs> Fast pace action. I hope you're prepared for this. Oh god, I hate that time dilation effect. It's kind of annoying, isn't it? Don't Rodar me. I'm gonna have to just not zoom in unless we really desperately need it, eh? Think of that pillar being. Slightly in front of us. Oh, come on. Maybe a, maybe a shout? No, no, no. We can finish it with archery. We're here to train archery. Don't give in. Bonk. I apologize if this takes a long time. <laughs> but it is good It is good training. You can't deny that much. To my arrows back then. Thank you. That's mine. Jesus, wow. This is um this is genuinely gonna take a long time, eh? There was a perk to um make it so traps did extra damage to enemies, right, when they set them off. In a situation like that where we can trigger it with archery, it wouldn't be that bad at all. Right, so this is where the spooky fireman came from. We kind of sneaking, right? Well, that's unfortunate. Don't mind me. Okay, that's fine. You can do that all you like. <laughs> oh, this sucks. Oh, God. Bonk. Okay, one more, one more, one more. Right in the knee. There we go. You know, maybe those crossbows, not such a bad idea in hindsight. Holy crap. Maybe at this point, she'll give us the quest to go and find the Dwemer crossbow. Oh, man. Hello? Something horrible going to pop out of here? No? Oh, shit. Uh... Re Hazal. Okay, you can die. Nice, nice, nice. That was 300 damage, Brennan Mind, that shout does. Oh, shit. Kill streak, that's it. Oh, there we go. Wow. This is, um, certainly up the tension a little bit, eh? Holy crap. Right, give me that ceremonial sword. I'm also going to take your skull. Particularly want it for any reason. Just, you know, I just can <laughs> it's a sign of respect. If you're going to grave rob, at least, you know, at least take him with you. Right, so there was another way we could have gone in this direction, right? Oh, this is just a way to the top floor. Okay, well, that's a bit disappointing. So that seems to be one of the ceremonial weapons, I assume. Through there is uh, Mottiere. So I assume, I assume we go down here then. Oh, free troll fat. Nice. What a deal. 
Oh, there's the sword. Oh. Oh, so the axe... Axe is this way? Oh, hang on. Was there another door that I completely ignored? Yeah, it certainly looks like it. Brilliant. Good work. Some archaeologist. Okay. Ooh. Nice. Okay. Just sneak. Just sneak. Just sneak. It's easy. Okay. Lights off then. Oh, God. Oh, I don't like it. Also, this fucking cloak is getting right on my nerves. We might, um... Hello? We might rebind Okato's recital. Hello? Is that a Draugr? <laughs> yep. Yes, it is. All right, you could do me a favor and just die. Oh, hello. Don't mind me. Just here to steal your ancestral weaponry. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm sure we can afford to move a little bit faster than that, though. Uh, are we spotted? We're not spotted, by the looks of it. Nice. Oh, we got a kill cam, but didn't get a kill. That doesn't seem entirely fair. Apparently, we're still sneaking. Shit. Maybe I was going about that last room wrong. We're still sneaking. Now we're detected. Oh, I need to give Sneak more credit. Because that actually did uh, some really good work there. Okay, let's take things a bit more methodically then for the first time ever on either one of my channels. <laughs> either one of the four channels. Yeah, Live Detect, I agree, would be phenomenal. Particularly if we are going to stick to sneaking. I apologize if this is dark, but it's a necessary evil, I think. Plink. Plink. Oh! You just straight up fucking died? You stand on a trap. You stand on a trap. Nice. Ooh, matron, please. Has it seen us? I think it has. Oh, shit. Maybe we can get a bit more distance. Hang on. Well, I can hear it setting off the trap, so... It's quite clearly not dead yet. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Plink. Nice. There we go. To be it doesn't say detected. Well, now it does. Okay, don't do that. Don't do that. You're just going to slow us both down. Maybe we could... Oh, buff up critical strikes. Oh, God, we're out of stamina. I'm trying to dodge. We're out of fucking stamina. Got to bear that in mind. Turns out you require physical strength to pull back a bowstring. Who could have guessed? No, please. You're probably a better shot than me. Ah! Ah! God damn. Nice. Oh, okay. Well, that's the first part of this bloody dungeon done. Are you, are you good? Where did that arrow hit you? Oh, no. It seems like we're okay. You know, just uh, <laughs> just a minor arrow poking through our torso. We're all right. Okay, then. So this will be our ceremonial axe. I do vaguely remember this quest, actually. And through here is a man. You okay? You good? You seem cozy. I won't disturb them. Oh, yeah, shit. Don't forget about the traps in here. We learned nothing from that Draugr. Mace Etiquette. We haven't apparently read that before. It's a bit late now. Ceremonial axe. There we go. Open the Elder's Can. Okay, I can do that. <laughs> That's about all I can do at this point, but I can definitely do that. We did level up, so we could always go into a bit more stamina, and I don't think we've leveled up archery significantly enough now to allow us to spend any meaningful perks, but we'll give it a go anyway. All right, let's go stamina then. And then let's head over to archery. Can we spend anything here? No, we've got, we've got it all. Uh, so the next level, then, we can get recover twice as many arrows and bolts from dead bodies. And ranged weapons have a 25% chance to stagger most targets. That actually will be incredible by itself. And then everything else is um, very, very expensive beyond that. Quick shot, what does that do? Can draw a bow reloaded crossbow 30% faster. That's the one we need. That's going to be huge when we finally get that. What an overly convoluted door system. Defeat Kevnell. Uh, about that. Defeat Kevnell? Um, you're going to give me a boss fight. That's very rude. Kevnell? Oh, shit. I'm not a fan of this at all. Uh, give me that magic potion. 
We've got a bunch of books here. I think, to be fair, we've already got all of the treasure maps for the gallery. What the hell has seen us? Oh, there's someone there. Well, that's not fair. 50. Hey, there we go. Hey, hey, it's okay. Right, and now we go back to archery. We can get boom and power shot. Oh, we didn't actually spend. Thank you. There we go. 50% increased. Oh, shit. We're also getting sneak experience here. Wow. They're right above us. Shh. Now we can just... We can just scooch on by there. 25% chance to stagger most enemies means you get... Is that a per arrow? Against bosses, that would be devastating, right? Nice. That was a stagger. That was another stagger. I'm not sure if that is a stagger or more that they're just being hit by a fucking arrow in the chest. I'm not sure if there is a particular tell. Oh, God, these death wards are way too tough for this level of archery. Holy crap. Yeah, you better run. Yeah, he's scared. Oh, God, please don't hurt me. 51 archery. That was fast. We'll level up bloody quick. Because we're fighting enemies a little above our archery pay grade at this point. What are they doing? They're just pissing around. Ah, careful with that stick. Yeah. Kapow. Oh. <laughs> hey, that literally, look, we can see it in his head. What are you talking about? They didn't kill him. Didn't fuck off with that. Didn't actually kill him. That was an ebony quarter stuff. It's probably been caved us with that. Is that Kevnell? Is that Kevnell? He's a ghost. Do arrows work on ghosts? That's a great question. Okay. I'm gonna just give him a pop. Oh. <laughs> and there was me worried for a second. We just absolutely annihilated the fucking guy. Oh my god, poor Kev now. It didn't stand a goddamn chance. I seem to get a sneak experience for this, too. Yeah, there we go. Oh, shit. Okay, well, that frosty dragon might actually prove more of a problem. Oh, yeah, that's absolutely more of a problem than Kevnell. Hi. I love how it thinks we're still not detected. Ah. Okay, okay. Oh, you know what? That doesn't really hurt at all. Well... That wasn't that bad in the least. Holy crap. Okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm going to throw a lantern back on here. Because we've already dealt with the boss and that was my big concern. Oh, we've got an excavation site, which to be honest, I'll probably just ignore. I'm not too worried about that at this point. And here we are. Iduj. Takes 27 points of frost damage plus extra slow. When we all did with the Oaken, time between shots is reduced by 20% and there is Oaken as well. Takes 27 points of frost damage plus extra slow. Thank you. Uh, wow, these, this guy had fucking four weapons. This is always time for, uh, it was time for combat. Right, what have we got then? Card of Wars is great. That's fine, that's fine. I'm not going to take, uh, I'll take anything with kind of high value. Nightfalls and Sentinel, apparently we haven't even read. All right, that was okay. Thank you. Oh, Glass Greatsword. It's not great, but we can always sell it off, right? A couple of Septims there. Some other kind of bits and bobs, tributes to... That extremely powerful man. Yeah, hang on a second, World Ball. Nice. Conjuration increase from... Uh, that'll be from uh, our Akato's Recital spell. From our cloak. Nice. I think we're clear, then. Astrid. You're back. Good. Um, All right, this so doesn't seem like the most appropriate way to have a conversation, Astrid. Want? Uh, I see why they call you Astrid, though. Uh, Mottier wants us to kill the Emperor. You're joking. Could you please turn around? Uh, I'll show you the amulet and the sealed letter. What's this? Uh, the letter explains it all. The amulet is for expenses. By Sithis, you're not joking. Fine, you know what? To kill there you the go. Emperor of Tamriel. <laughs> the Dark Brotherhood hasn't done such a thing since the assassination of Pelagius. As a matter of fact, no one has dared assassinate an Emperor of Tamriel since the murder of Uriel Septim, and that was 200 years ago. You say that as if that's a, like a big deal, but given that the, the Imperial throne is uh, hereditary, 
200 years, that's like what? Maybe four emperors? I mean, maybe even less, depending on the life expectancy, restoration magic, cure disease spells, and shit like that. You'd assume life expectancy is a lot longer here, because um, it's not like the emperor's going out into caves and shit to get himself murdered. No, she certainly wouldn't. And for whatever reason, she chose to relay Motier's information to you. I don't know exactly what's going on here, if you're the listener, or this is some flu, or what. This is very strange. But what we now have this is very strange, us... Astrid. Will accept the contract? <laughs> you're damn right we'll accept it. <laughs> if we pull this off, the Dark Brotherhood will know a fear and respect we haven't seen in centuries. You think I'd abandon an opportunity to lead my family to glory? Uh, but this no, is all so much so. to take in. I need time to read the letter and figure out where we go from here. All right, then. And this amulet. Hmm. Hmm. What are you thinking? I'm thinking we need that amulet appraised. Well, you're in luck. to know where it came from, how much it's worth, and if we can actually get away with selling it. If only you had a contact with the... And ah. there's only one man who can give us what we need. Delvin Mallory. No, not bloody He's Delvin offense, Mallory again. A private operator. Works out of the rat way in Riften. Give me the letter. Bring Mallory the amulet. Find out everything you can and sell it if he's willing. It's weird that they He'll did this crossover, isn't it? Credit. That's fine. Because in Oblivion... Delvin Mallory and the Dark Brotherhood have... <laughs> history. He in Oblivion and Morrowind, they, they're very kind of separate, aren't they, about the... Um... They're very separate about the uh, the factions. They don't really tread on each other's toes, but in this, they're like, oh, go and speak to Delvin Mallory. just happens to be exactly where you need to go if you want to join the Thieves' Guild. Okay. Well, I guess over to Riften then. We'll at least finish this quest before we start... Uh, start messing around with the main quest, for sure. But the sooner we do more of the main quest, the better. Given that supposedly the world's ending and we've just been hanging around for months, diving into dungeons, going on silly little side adventures. I can't believe no one's found this yet. Um, what the fuck? Well, I guess that's why no one's found it. The bloody thing's broken. Delvin, here we are. Uh, oh, Delvin's in the, uh, in the bar normally, isn't he? Right. It's another loading screen. Thank you. Thank you, Todd. Thanks, Todd. Don't worry about it. Be a bit more pissed if I was playing this on, like, you know... <laughs> the original PS3 or something. 20 years it's taken for those two loading screens. Where is he? Delvin! Eggman! Breed the old fight. Let me guess. He just plucked you off the street and dropped you into the thick of things without telling you which way is up. I'm not here. Am I right? I'm not here to talk about that. Uh, I know what I'm doing. Lying to my face isn't going to win you any favours with me. I can promise you that. Okay, maybe this will win you favours. Taking some of these extra jobs off my hands. Now, that'll get you to the top of my list. Delvin, shut up. See, that kind of attitude comes from someone who wants to get rich and stay alive long enough to enjoy it. We're going to get along nicely. So, if you've got the nerve, Delvin, I've got plenty of extra not listening, jobs pal. to help get the guild back on its feet. Right, now's not the time. Look around you. The uh -huh. flagon, the guild, it's all falling apart. I can't imagine it was that A nice in the first place. Ago, this place was as busy as the Imperial City. Now, okay, that I do now. You don't trip over a skeever instead. Look, I know the others think I'm a bit dull for saying stuff like this, but well, then. I'm going to give it to you straight. Something out there is piss drunk mad at us. Uh -huh. I don't know who or what it is, but it's beyond just you and me. We've been cursed. Cursed. I'll tell you what we do. We spit in that curse's face. Uh -huh. That's where you come in. Right. I've got plenty of work available that could guide us down the road to recovery. Brilliant. All you need to do is ask, and we can both come Thank out you. of this smelling like a rose. Well, I need to talk to you about this. Something you need? No. Anything for the guild. Actually, I'm here. Uh, thank you. Finally, long us. I'm here on Dark Brotherhood business. Oh. Oh, I see. Well, you're making friends all over, ain't you? <laughs> so, <laughs> ain't I? Uh, how is Astrid doing these days? Tell her to stop by sometime. We can have a drink. All right, Delvin. I'll bloody uh, let her know, wouldn't I? business, of course. What kind of business? Show him the amulet. What can you tell me about this? Let's see. Where, oh, where did you get this? No, don't answer. 
I don't want to know. This is an amulet of the Emperor's Elder Council. Wow. Especially crafted for each member. who have a small fortune. Ain't something you give up lightly. I assume Look, then. It ain't my business to tell the Dark Brotherhood it's business. But if you killed a member of the Elder Council, you better believe. Will you buy it? Buy it? This? An Elder Council amulet? Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes, indeed. Cut this just here, oh, Wait. Here just for the one show. Moment. Here is a letter of credit, usable by Astrid only, for any service or item I can provide, as per our standard arrangement. You bring that back to your lovely mistress. Bloody hell, this guy fucking bangs on. Shut up, Dal, then. My god, man, I never thought you'd shut up there for a second. Well, we've got to report back to Astrid now, but that seems, uh... That seems, that seems pretty convenient. Seems pretty convenient. Friends, in, friends all over, like you said. Dawnguard, Archmage, Harbinger, Thieves Guild. This is this is the wrong way. Oh God, get me out. Astrid. Good. Finally, we can have a face-to-face -face conversation. Well, what did Mallory have to say? Rather than cheek to face. Is the amulet authentic? It is authentic. The Elder Council. Wow. Oh, now that explains quite a bit. Motier, you naughty, naughty boy. Hiring the Dark Brotherhood to help you rise beyond your station. What a terrible line. Delicious. Not yet, you naughty, naughty amulet? boy. Yes, here's a lot of credit. Splendid. Then we're ready to begin. Or, more specifically, you're ready to begin. Oh. After all, you're the one the Night Mother spoke to. Now then, I hope you have something nice to Can this to wait? Wear. I've got because an embassy I've got to wedding. attend. A wedding? Well, more like the public reception. It should be a lovely affair. These quests are actually You'll very, very good, aren't they, guests. going forward? Eat some cake. Stab the bride. Oh, yes. You've got to kill the bride. At her wedding. Excellent. And they say romance is dead. Don't they just? All right. Uh, enough talk. Just tell me who to kill. No, no, no. Let's be polite here. Okay, we are in the middle of Quality of the Viper's Nest. Who's the target? Her name is Vittoria Vici. She oversees the East Empire Company's business holdings in solitude. The wedding is being held in that city, at the Temple of the Divines. Vici is likely to address her guests frequently, uh -huh. as is the wedding custom. Kill her when she does that, and I promise you a significant bonus. Kill her at the wedding. Now go, and give my best to the bride. <laughs> okay, I will. Yeah, I can do that. Wow. Hey, uh, Victoria VC. Yeah, I've been uh, sent by the Dark Brotherhood to kill you. By the way, uh, Astrid sends her best. She's the leader of the Dark Brotherhood Off based out. solitude with you. Yeah, I heard you. Time to give the Emperor some Good lord. To visit well, there we are. That went on for quite a long time. Now, I, I, I do like all these missions we've got coming up for the Dark Brotherhood, but I do want to take a side break there to catch up with the main quest because we really have just ignored it entirely up to this point. Um... You know, we've done what, like the one thing where you go with uh, Delphine to Kynesgrove, and that's quite literally it. We haven't found the old man yet. We haven't done the embassy, of course, which are both, you know, kind of key quests. No blades at all. Spoilers for Skyrim. <laughs> Don't worry. A lot of people have asked me to make sure they have asked Martinius to spend a bit more time with his grandson and make sure that, you know, any quests that perhaps our. This game, the game has gone too far. Every individually rendered clover, there's a fucking baby goose running through them. Anyway, uh, spend more time with his grandson. And, you know, if there's any quest that his grandson wants him to do, you know, help him out. Why are you just sitting in the fucking street, you weird man? Unbelievable. But we will carry on with the uh, main storyline, at least for a little bit. Maybe do a couple of quests there and uh, bring a little bit of uh, balance to Skyrim, which is otherwise a burning down. It's the end of the world. Look at this. My god, what are you people doing? It's the end times, kid. Run!